Australia's first Olympic breakdancer, Rachel Gunn, known as Ray Gunn, has promised to stay true to herself despite criticism following her performance at the Paris 2024 Olympics. Gunn, who made history as Australia's first Olympic breaker, faced backlash after being eliminated in the round-robin stage without scoring any points from the judges. However, HD in cultural studies admitted she couldn't match her rival's strength and tricks, so she focused on being more creative. Backslash, I knew I couldn't beat them with dynamic and power moves, so I wanted to bring something new, different, and creative. That's my strength, backslash, Gunn said. Backslash, I was always the underdog and wanted to make my mark in a unique way, backslash. When asked if breaking should be an Olympic sport, Gunn pointed out that it meets the criteria of athleticism and dedication and adds a new level of excitement to the games. The event saw Japanese B-girl Ami Yuasa win the gold medal, with Lithuania Nika, Dominika Bainvik, taking silver. However, breaking might not be included in future Olympics, with Los Angeles in 2028 and Brisbane in 2032 unlikely to feature the sport. Gunn expressed disappointment that breaking was left out of the 2028 Olympics, especially since the sport originated in the United States. Backslash, it's disappointing that it was decided before we even had a chance to show it, Backslash Gunn said. Backslash, I wonder if they regret it now, especially with the strong American breakers who could have been on the podium. But breaking culture remains strong. Backslash. Australia's 16-year-old b-boy Jeff Dunn, known as J-Attack, is set to compete in the male competition on Saturday.